Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Tosca session, I'm going to talk about how you can scan and verify different elements on a PDF document. Now we have already seen how you can compare two different PDFs and get a generic report on whether the comparison was successful depending on your accuracy percentage, which you have specified for that particular comparison. But if you want to uh, make more um, in detail verification of each element on your PDF and whether it is matching up to the expected uh, requirements, then uh, we have to use the PDF scan, which is provided in the PDF engine. And uh, let's look at how does it work, okay? So uh, we are going to use the same PDF, uh, which we have used for our comparison. It is generated by one of the Tricenter sample applications, which is the vehicle insurance uh, application. And uh, once you go through the whole different screens, then uh, you will find that it will generate this particular code based on your choices you have made, okay? And there are different sections to it. So uh, we can also verify different elements on this particular PDF, okay? So let's see uh, how you can scan this particular PDF and then how you can also make some verifications on different elements. So to scan, uh, uh, we have created a module uh, folder inside our modules, which is PDF scan, okay? And then right click uh, and then go to scan. Instead of application, uh, we have to select PDF, okay? So application will cover any desktop or web application. Uh, but PDF will basically scan your PDF documents, okay? So select this uh, PDF. And after this, uh, we need to provide a path for, or we have to select the particular PDF document which we want to scan, okay? In this case, I want to scan this particular document. So I will open this in my PDF scan. And uh, this is the window, uh, which is the PDF scan, okay? Now it has got different uh, menu items, which we'll discuss, but it also provides you a preview of your PDF document. Okay, so I have got just one page. If you have got multiple pages, it will show you the preview of multiple pages. Okay, um, I can fit this particular PDF to the screen by using this zoom fit option. I can also zoom in and zoom out uh, using this zoom toolbar, okay? Some of the other menu items are uh, select document language. Now I can select uh, this particular PDF document in different languages, okay? And then um, there is also a show content preview, uh, which may be hidden by default, but you can always change it to show and hide this content preview. So whenever you scan any particular element, uh, the value of it or the preview of it will be shown in this particular window, okay? I can always close this particular uh, PDF scan window from here. And I can also scan a new document once I'm finished with this particular document using this particular option. Then there is save option to save all the controls which you have scanned. And then there are three options to basically scan three different elements on the PDF, okay? So the first is a text option. Second is the image option. And the third is the table option. So these are the three main elements which you'll find in any PDF document. And that is why these three types of uh, scanned elements are present in your PDF scan, okay? So let's see one by one um, how we can scan these three different elements, okay? So uh, when you click on any of these three uh, menu items, your cursor will change to a plus sign and it will allow you to select a particular uh, area for your element, okay? So based on that content area, it will scan that particular element and uh, it will show you also a view of it in the content view, right? And then uh, when you do the verification, it will compare it based on that particular scanned area, okay? So uh, say for example, I want to verify the make of the vehicle, okay? So that's present under vehicle data and uh, that's the value called Audi. So I'm going to scan this particular area. Now I can define the scan area depending on my requirements. Um, so if there are options which are much uh, larger than this 
particular option, then you can scan a larger area as well. Okay. So once you scan that particular text uh, on the right hand side, you will see that uh, it will show you a type, uh, which is a text type and then a name, a generic name, which you can always edit. Okay. So double click on this and you will be able to rename this. So I will rename this to uh, make. Okay. And uh, I can always jump back to that scanned area. Okay. And you will see this will be highlighted whenever I click on this. So it is jumped to this area. I can always uh, redraw this particular option. Okay. So using this option, I can uh, redraw this particular element. So basically modify this whole um, element together, right? So this is how you can, um, if you have scanned earlier and you want to change it, you can do that. Or I can completely remove this particular scan. Okay, so it will be removed from this particular scan document. So if I go again here and this time around, if I select a fuel type as, uh, which is diesel, right? So I can rename this to fuel type. And then in the content view, you will also see uh, what's the value of that particular text. Okay, so it will basically show you a preview of what you have scanned. So it is a text type and the value is diesel. So that's what is shown in the content view. So that's how you can scan any particular text in this, uh, in this PDF document. Okay, and uh, you can store this as a control. So when we save this, it will be saved as a control uh, in our module, okay, which we will see later. You can use it for uh, any verification or anything in your test case, right? Now coming to uh, image-based, uh, scanning. So in image, we can scan this logo, which is the Tricentis logo, right on this particular PDF document, uh, just to verify that this logo appears on this document or not, right? So similarly, if you, there are other images, you can scan them. Uh, again, it will show as a type as image, right? And I can always rename, I can always rename this to uh, the proper naming conventions. So I'll name it as logo. Right. So we have got two types of elements. One is text, one is image. Uh, and these are the two controls. The third uh, type is table. Now, ideally, if you have got a proper table in your PDF document, you can scan this. But even if you don't have uh, and you still want to scan um, this particular area as a table, you can still do it. It may not work perfectly or because uh, as you can see, the rows and columns are not aligned properly. So uh, Tosca cannot identify which are the rows and which are the columns here, right? So you need to have a proper table uh, in your PDF document so that Tosca can identify that. And there are a few things which you can do here. Okay, so uh, you can define uh, whether you want to use a header column or you want to use the header row. You can define which particular row you want to use as your header row, right? So generally it is the first row um, and that's where by default it will select the first row, but you can always change it. Similarly, you can use the column as the header column as well, if you want. Okay, depends on what kind of data is present in that table. So as you can see, uh, I don't have proper header rows here and uh, the values are selected as the header row. Um, and that's where I said that you should have proper uh, proper alignment of your rows and columns if you are scanning a particular table, okay? Also, you can adjust the cell borders here um, if they are not uh, adjusted properly in the view, okay? You can see here uh, when I uh, over over this, it will also show the coordinates here, right? Um, also, if there are any invisible cells, you can also select this option to consider invisible cells, right? But uh, generally speaking, uh, this is not an ideal uh, table to be uh, selected. But anyways, let's have this as a control and we will see how it looks like when we save this particular module, okay? So now, uh, as you can see, I have got three control types. One is text, one is image, and one is table. Um, I can always redraw them 
uh, or I can always jump to these different controls on my PDF document to verify whether they are uh, exactly the same when I scan them. I can also remove them from uh, my control or my PDF document. Okay. So these are the things we can do. Uh, after this, I can go ahead and save this and I can close this PDF scan. Okay. So that's how you can uh, scan your PDF document. And once you do that, uh, you will see there are different controls which are uh, created here, right? Uh, it will take the path as the name of the PDF document, but you can always change it back, right? So this is the insurance code. So I will name it insurance code PDF, right? And uh, there are different controls created based on what we have scanned, right? So one is the fuel tab, which is the text type. Uh, one is the logo, which is the image control, and one is the table, right? Also, there are two other uh, module properties. One is target PDF and the PDF password. So when you use this module in a test case, which we are going to do, you will see that you can provide a PDF password and then you have to provide the PDF path here, okay? So let's create a new test case folder here called PDF scan. And let's uh, create a test case here, verify insurance uh, code. Okay, and then I'm going to search an add step. And I'm going to search for insurance code PDF. Okay, once you select this module, you will see all the different controls which are present here, right? So here, um, I need to provide the target PDF, so which I want to run. So this is my target PDF, and I'm going to put the name here. Okay. Dot PDF. I don't have a PDF password, so I don't need to provide it. Uh, fuel type, right? So the value will always be present here. But if you think it's a different value as per your requirement, you can write it down here. And it will automatically select the action mode as verify because that's what you want to do in a PDF, right? So you want to verify whether uh, the text which, is, which we have scanned has this particular value, okay? And then uh, in logo, uh, what we can do is we can say exists, right? And uh, equals equals true. So that's the verification we can do uh, for uh, image type, right? So we can say exist, exist, equal, equal, true, right? So that will perform uh, the verification on the image. Now coming to the verification of the table, uh, we have got rows and cells, okay? And uh, you can select any particular row or column and then uh, you can select any particular cells. So in the column, you can see we have got all the values like product data, start date, insurance sum, um, and cut car, right? Uh, so in order to put a verification on a particular table, uh, we can select a particular column. So first, let's see what's there in this particular PDF, okay, and what we want to verify. So this is the table uh, we had selected. So if I want to verify whether this bonus one is displayed uh, under this particular column, right, which is the second column, so how you can do that is uh, you have to go to the column and then you have to select this particular column number and you have to enter it. Right? So I want to select the second column and then uh, I want to select a particular cell inside this, which is the first cell, okay? And uh, here I want to verify the value, uh, which is called uh, bonus one, but there is also some other a value like merit rating, right? But if I want to put a regular expression kind of thing here and just put bonus one, that is what I want to verify. No matter what other values are present, I don't want to verify those. So I'll put star and star at the beginning and end so that whatever text is up before this and after this won't matter, but it will just check for this bonus one, okay? So you can verify all the different values in these columns using this way, okay? Um, you can choose the column 
number and then uh, you can choose the cell number and then just put the value you want to verify within the table okay so this is how you can put a verification for your table values and then uh, let's go ahead and execute this okay and let's see whether it works as expected or not So as you can see, uh, our test case has passed now. Okay, so we have got all three verifications uh, which we wanted on the PDF document. You can see them in the log info. So the text verification was successful, expected and actual values are same. The image verification was successful because the image exists in the PDF and the table uh, verification was also successful. So the particular uh, value in the column matches with what we have provided okay so you can see i have used regular expression and uh, even though it is merit rating uh, before bonus one it is still uh, able to compare these two particular values okay so you can use regular expression wherever uh, you feel that uh, you have a particular text which remain constant but others can change okay so that's how you can verify different elements on your PDF document. And uh, that's all uh, you have got uh, in the PDF engine for Tosca through which you can scan different elements and then you can use it as a module in your test cases and then put uh, necessary verifications so that you can verify your PDF which is generated from the web application. So it will help you to cover end-to-end uh, -end test case where uh, you perform uh, your automation on the web application and once the pdf is generated uh, and stored somewhere you can directly access it and then put your verifications through a test case so that uh, it is a complete end-to-end -end, uh, test case verification right so hope this session was useful uh, for you in order to understand how you can scan and verify different elements on uh, any particular pdf document if you have got uh, any questions uh, please leave them in the comments and do look out for more uh, interesting videos which are coming up in the next few days